Your music exclusive. I, I, I grew up like a savage. One, two, one, two. You now rocking with the No Vultures podcast. You got me, myself, Lord Rap. You got OG Clee going away on away on a vacation. Free Yo, OG Clee. Get on back, Clee. You got Corn the Barber. What it do? And today we got a very, 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 very special guest. Now he here again for his second round, man. You know what I'm saying? Because he's coming back in a different fashion, man. He coming back as an Arthur. He already a legendary MC. You know what I'm saying? Now he coming back as an Arthur, man. We got the legendary V White, V Dow, and now. Vidal Prevost, the Arthur. The nigga Prevost. Prevost. The okay. nigga even changed his glasses, y'all. The nigga's right. a real Arthur, yeah. man. Yeah. He For put sure. his Harry Potter's on. He <laughs> was intelligent all the time. You know what I'm saying? Come on, you know what man. Saying? What's happening, V? All right, how y'all doing, man? Man, man, good, man. It's good to have you here, man. Come on, man. Good it's to have you here. You the game. You're going to come through the door. It's through the front, through the back, through the side. Hey, you, you, come on, you're getting man. in that door, huh? Man, it's right up the street. Man, man, man. man. So, um, you know, we ain't got to give you the disclaimer. You know what the show about. You've been here, man. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 uh, you know, we connected in a lot of ways, man. Even you just coming back, bringing up memories about Junie Cadillac out in the back, man. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, when I was uh, when I I went back and watched some of the interview with Clee, Clee's like, man, nigga, you got the memory like an elephant, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like this nigga remember everything, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I appreciate that shit because I'm a I'm a culture nigga myself, you know right. what I'm saying? And I be believing that our shit be getting left out. Right. I feel like our culture be getting we you know niggas be forgetting about all the trends we set, all the shit we started, right. and all that shit. You right. know what I'm well, I don't think we get left out. It really, it's just they just come take it. They come take it. don't give us no props for it. They do come take it. They do come take it. So do you think that, what you saying that, right? Because I was going to ask you this. I don't know if you're familiar, but the new controversy on the Push and P. Pushing the, the, yeah, the P. You seen that? Well, no, I've been hearing people say it. Right. So, I mean, it's basically what, in a nutshell, what you just got through saying. Niggas taking our shit and don't giving us credit for it. Keeping it player. Yeah, but, but. In your, in your, being an OG in this shit and knowing how this game go, how do you, how do we master, just, um, master our own shit and before they get a hold to it, before the world get a hold to it, because we've been on that for a long time, right? Mm-hmm. But then say they'll come out with a slogan like "No cap," and then we all using it. You know what I'm saying? But they ain't worried about it because they having success. Do you think the lack of success is why we care? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, cause we underground, right? Right. It's like it's just like the music. You know what I mean? If you 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 you, you have an underground artist that mm-hmm. ain't really getting no, uh, he ain't getting no play. Mm-hmm. But then on the other, on the flip side, you got an artist that's getting radio play. Right. So of course the person that's getting radio play can reach the masses that we can't. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Maybe to put something out before we was able to put it out. Yeah. Or, or yeah, or or they didn't really put it out before we did. They just was able to reach more to reach people. the masses mm-hmm. first before. Us. Yeah, mm-hmm. they just reach more people. We you know we do a lot of stuff first, but then it's our arts kind of stop at Durant. Yeah, they show around, uh, <laughs> they around with popping your collar. <laughs> Mafia made a hit record off popping your collar. Yeah, yeah. Foley's popping your collar didn't even right. get to go global like that. Right, right, right. So, yeah, I um, I wanted to ask you this too. Like back in the days, right. You had like the 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 estuaries and the, and all that shit like jumping off right because I heard you talk about on uh, I need to know podcast mm-hmm. about uh, you getting a a, a jet ski right and you said ninety one mm-hmm. or ninety 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 one ninety ninety one yeah so like that was the stand up one no it was a, T, a Kawasaki TS Kawasaki TS was, those was the Two seater, but really only one person. It was on there, it, right? it was a two seater, but it, it it looked like a it it really wasn't aerodynamic like exactly. the jet skis look now. Those. Yeah, it almost had a dirt bike handlebar. Exactly, almost. exactly. Yeah. yeah, and and when you uh when you talk about that right, going to like it made me it, it brought up some memories for me right you because you talked about everybody know about Barry S and all that but I don't think people talk enough about the Escalary right yeah because that was right in Oakland right and since we owned the push and P and all this shit is supposed to be player it was a lot of <clears throat> players that existed at that time true it was a lot of player shit going on at that time I could remember being at the Escalary and seeing Ice-T hand out dollar bills to mm-hmm. bitches this is before 
make it rain. I'm okay. not talking about Ice T from Nine Six. I'm talking about I'm your pusher man. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Wow. At the Escalator, and it, it amazed me. You know, but it's cars parked on the grass. It's all kind of shit going on. And it, when you were saying that, just me reflecting on it, I'm like, God damn, times is different. Well, before the before the Estuary, that, I mean, that was that was ours. So I mean, if you want to go back and talk about culture and history, Roberts Park started with with uh, the map. Okay. Mm. And okay. then we took up, our, and then our generation and the generations before us was doing Roberts Park. Mm. Okay. Mm. So sure, I mean, it was a lot of people used to do. That's that was the spot for the functions, and then right. before, and and after Roberts, so it was they ran parallel you had some folks did shit at roberts park and then folks did shit at nolan park when they had the big ass dragon you could climb in right mm, by the creek i remember that i remember it was a bunch of turf turf picnics at yeah. robert i didn't been to turf picnics at roberts park and nolan park um yeah, yeah because i th and then alongside of that shooting videos that later on in the game when y'all became rappers, like a lot of rappers was in the game, that came with it. Like y'all video, the out of control video mm -hmm. and, and uh videos like Sieg video, uh that was at uh, uh in the dubs. Which one? The Ville, he had uh, the Ville, then he had the, the one with the Indian, slip, slip, Indian Tone doing the, the donuts. Yeah, one of them. And then mm -hmm. just all of that shit, like, you know, when I look at that now, I look at what it evolved to, right? And you know, some of this shit is a little disappointing. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like for one, <clears throat> since we got an expert nigga here who fuck with cars, always have motorcycles, all this shit. Right. We just want to make it clear that they drifting, not doing donuts. What they doing now? Yeah. Yeah. That's what they calling it drifting? No, that's what they. Them is not donuts. Yeah, they not donuts. Them yeah. not donuts. Like yeah, not them big wide ones. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah them no, big wide ones. Yeah, right. yeah, because no, niggas had handles tight. like going to a four way intersection exactly. and getting this shit off. But you now know they got a big old open. That ain't you know, big. You know what I'm saying? Parking I, lot or the I'm big not. Wide. I'm not hating on they shit. I'm yeah, just. I'm just clearing it up for the culture. You know right. what I'm saying? Um, also, uh, in the side show, right? If you Richie Rich explained this very well in his song, right? Okay. Side show. If you if you wasn't hella clean, you was doing a lot of sh your shit was running, right? Or you was just finna, or you just, you just willing to tear your shit up, tear your shit up all the way. You got to go all the way. Either you was clean, or you was running, or you was willing to tear your shit up. Right. Then was the only real. three categories. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. And, and and speaking of that time. Cause I'm I'm just all in this pocket right now. It just it just had me thinking about all this because we talked about all your shit with you and I and for the fans that just now start fucking with us, I, I'm just briefly going over all this shit right, right, right before we get into the book. But even at a time we mentioned Cherry Street earlier, like you know, for me growing up, I think the kids is getting cheated, mm -hmm. right? Because I was able to see niggas that was older than me that I would love to impress. Like if if, if I got the whip, I'm gonna try to ride past. And then I'm gonna had an old nigga tell me what's wrong with my shit. Like, who you had paint that? Like, nah, that ain't. Yeah. Why the skirts ain't on there? Why your shit <coughs> look like this? Or yeah. you know what I'm saying? Or we don't. Yeah, I wouldn't drive. I wouldn't drive my car if a hubcap was missing. <laughs> yeah. right. I wouldn't yeah, even right. drive it. Yeah, just wait. Yeah, I mean that's that's just the difference now. It's like now I notice what's different with the culture with folks whipping cars. Now it's it's not even a a, a, a make or model. Like we had a make or a model yeah, that you you, you had to have a you had to have a Cougar, a Falcon, a Mustang, a Caprice Classic. Can we go down? Can we go through the years of them cars that you can't where you got? Because niggas don't know when you got to stop. Well, you got to see you got. We it, never had two door boxes. Well, Boucherveri did. Boucherveri did have a two door box, but, but it was a newer one. It was. It was. It, newer was, it was like when they. It was like eighty seven, eighty eight, which right, was considered right. new when right. when the boxes we drove was seventy seven, seventy eight. Right. He right. had like an eighty seven. Mm -hmm. So his was more. You know what I mean? But it. But I mean, he just had a nice car. It wasn't. It, yeah, he right, wasn't trying right. to whip it or put rims and right, all that. Right. On it. So yeah, it was and a nigga Boosie back then, if he had the glass house. With the bar in the middle, the that's bowl. not a glass house. So, but was niggas still trying to whip that? No, they or was niggas. Yeah, out it was it? some out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah but it, it's just still not a glass. Right. And also, like, cause me, you know how I go a uh, a uh, uh, a Deville, a uh, uh, Caprice or Impala. I'm stopping at you know I was taught to stop at 73. We done. We yeah, ain't going 71 70, to 73. Yeah, oh, yeah. we not going 74. We not. But you know I know cars more rare too now. So right. I know niggas do do that, and I know 
Florida cats do all kind of other shit oh, to cars. So, so now niggas be into that. But like, I just it seemed like I don't I don't want that to get in a lost art. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like for instance, it's crazy to see Snoop get his cars done in Oakland. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy to see him put a one on his car, mm-hmm. right? Get a zap board. You know what I'm saying? All that shit is wild to me. But yeah. it's it's keeping culture lit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I do I do respect it, but um. I like to talk to people like you about that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Just to let the kids know and let we don't we don't got enough pictures and video surfacing. You know what I'm saying? Right. About that kind of shit because it's, it's history. You know? Yeah. Because now it's like <laughs> the new culture now is they just get an old car and put some gold rim, gold big rims on any it. car, yeah. any car, any car. It could now be a, they it could be a Chrysler. <laughs> It'll be a Chrysler Imperial. They, they that motherfucker got rims car. on. It. <laughs> they putting them on. <laughs> Yeah, these <laughs> niggas is putting them on anything now. Um, what was your most regrettable car? Uh, the regrettable car, not car you bought, car you got rid of. The re- like when you look at it now, you know you look at a Jay Leno <clears throat> show, or you look at one it's of the Bear to, Jackson. It's hard to name one, only because shit. Ten years ago, I counted how many cars I had, and it was over a hundred. So it's, I mean, to pick one out of pick them. one, yeah. But right. you ever just see one go past one of them auction lines? You'd be like, I had that, I had motherfucker. that motherfucker. I mean, I didn't have a couple of Grand Nationals. I didn't have a 5.0s, Any K5s, not a GNX. Yeah. I tweaked no. off a 6 8 Cougar. I didn't know no better. And, and back then, I could have had a GNX. Uh, yeah. Well, my, my boy, he had one. Who, Mike? Pep. Oh, Pep, yeah, Pep had one. Pep had a GNX. Gov had a GNX. Skrilla had a GNX. Mm. Larry Galbert and them had a GNX. That's yeah, a lot of real. niggas from Oakland for, for the number of GNXs yeah. that it was. You know what I'm saying? It was, uh, you know what I mean? And back then, back then we would, that's, I came up in the era where we get up in the morning and we go get the Diablo Diller mm-hmm. or the Auto Trader. Mm-hmm. And we just, we comb through it to see What's, up in that What's in there? You know what I mean. And we might see something and be like, "Shit, man, we finna take a ride to Campbell and grab something." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And back then, you could get GNXs. Believe it or not, you could get a GNX for twenty two, twenty three. Fucking ridiculous. And it came and, and it came number because they only made five hundred of them. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so a GNX. And see, I had a Grand National. Grand National it got a three point eight six cylinder turbo. Right. A GNX got a four point three. Mm-hmm. Uh, six cylinder turbo, okay. but a GNX they only made five hundred total. Only in nineteen eighty seven they made five hundred cars, and when a GNX, my like I said, I had partners who had them, so they came when you had when you bought a GNX, you knew you had a, a, a real authentic GNX when it came with the jacket. All the GNX came with a with a GNX jacket with the little circle on it, okay, and it would be in the trunk, kind of packaged up. Mm. Mm. So when you seen that, that was kind of like how when we go look at a car and you look at the back seat and you be like, ain't nobody never sat in it. Right. That's crazy. So you go look at a GNX, you pop the trunk like, nigga, got the jacket. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, 